everyone, welcome back to Millennial Moms. Today we're gonna be talking about real, real life tips for new moms. Welcome back, my name's Jamie, if you guys are new. If you are new to Millennial Moms, don't forget to subscribe down below so we can keep you around here in our community. If you like videos like this, be sure to let me know by giving me a big thumbs up. All right guys, so being a new mom is very stressful. <laughs> Thumbs up if you guys can agree. There's just so many little details and things that you don't wanna mess up on, that you need to remember, things that we put on ourselves that we feel guilty about, like all the things about being a new mom are pretty stressful. So I wanted to share with you guys just some real life tips to help you through the transition if you are a new mom. The first tip I have for you guys is to ask for help. I know sometimes it can be a little bit daunting to ask other people to help you when it involves your baby and a new baby, but honestly, help is a huge deal. Even if you don't want help specifically with a baby, maybe have someone come help you with the laundry. Ask your mom or another person in your life to maybe bring you a meal. It's a big adjustment, and so having a community or a tribe of people around you that can help you out really is a lifesaver. The second tip that I have for you is to know that each season has its good and has its bad. I remember being a new mom and people would tell me all the time, just enjoy this time, it goes by so fast, just enjoy this time, and I really was enjoying it, but there were days when it was hard for me to enjoy it because they were just really hard days, and I would feel guilty because I would think, oh, this time's going by so fast, I had a hard time today and I really lost my patience and I didn't enjoy it and then I would feel guilty. But one thing that you have to remember is that every season is good. So as much as I loved the season of my kids being babies, I'm really loving the season of my kids being toddlers and four-year-olds right now. Sometimes you're gonna have bad days, sometimes it's not going to be easy to love every moment, and just take a breather and realize that each season that you're in really does have things that you will love and that you will enjoy. The third tip that I have for you is to give yourself grace. If you're familiar with my own channel, this is something that I say in so many videos, but it's true. Give yourself grace. You're only human. We're trying to figure this out as best as we can, but every baby is different. Every mom is different. We all have our own way of doing things and we all have our own life circumstances. So definitely give yourself grace and realize that you two are working together. You're trying to figure this out together and it's not gonna be perfect. So take every day as it comes and give yourself grace. The next tip that I have for you is to follow your gut. People are going to be giving you all kinds of advice, right? I mean, <laughs> let your baby cry it out. Don't let your baby cry it out. Make sure your baby's sleeping in its own crib the day that it comes home. Make sure you co-sleep because that's good, but don't close sleep too early because then your baby can get hurt. You know, there's like so, so many people giving advice. Look at people that have something that you like and that you respect about their mothering or about their family and maybe take advice from those people and you can just kind of brush off the excess advice that you get from the people that you don't really wanna be like. And sometimes you're not going to have like this gut instinct and that's okay. I remember thinking like, I don't know what I'm supposed to do in this situation. When my son Ezra had colic, I felt bad because I didn't know what to do and I was like, I'm his mom, I should know. No, sometimes you don't know. Sometimes you just are winging it and you're trying to do the best that you can. And so go with your gut and listen to the people that you respect. The next tip that I have for you is to try and get rest. I know that this is something that everybody will tell you and you're like, how am I supposed to get rest? You know, sleep when the baby sleeps. My house is a mess, I gotta clean it up when the baby's sleeping. But honestly, it's such a short period of time when the baby is an infant and they're sleeping all the time that it's like, I feel like God gave us that. <laughs> the baby that sleeps all the time during those beginning days because we need that time to sleep too. We need that time to rest. The dishes are always gonna be there and just to let you in on a secret, once the kids get older and they start like living in the house and getting into things, the house is gonna be a million times messier than what it is right now when you have a newborn. <laughs> so just enjoy this time that you have a little baby that's sleeping all the time and get some rest. The last tip I have for you is to find a community or a good friends that are also in the same season that will support you and will lift you up and be there for you. There is nothing like having friends that are just your true blue friends that are there to support and be there for you and just offer you encouragement. All right, so those are my tips for a new mom. If you have any tips to add, don't forget to leave them down below. If you missed yesterday's video, you can check it out right here. If you wanna see more videos from me, you can go ahead and click up here. And if you are not subscribed to Millennial Moms yet, don't forget to subscribe right over here. I hope you guys have a good day and I'll see you next time.